Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Reed. I'm an event floral designer in the Philadelphia area. And today we're gonna to put together a very simple and easy hand tie bouquet that you can just drop right into a vase afterwards. There are so many beautiful flowers that are growing locally in our area this time of year. So a lot of the flowers that I'll be using are from flower farmers right in our area and my garden. So I like to forage for a lot of the foliage that I put in my designs right from my garden. So for today's design, we are gonna be doing boxwood, burning bush, crepe myrtle, baptisia, and euonymus. This time of year is literally the best time for flowers in our area. So our bouquet today is going to have coral charm peonies, sweet william, bachelor button, orlea, and last but not least, box glove. Make sure you remove all the extra leaves and debris off the bottom of each of the stems as well. We are gonna be making five individual smaller bouquets and then adding them together all at the end to make one larger one. So with the foliage that we found earlier, each cluster is going to have one stem of each piece of foliage. So we're gonna start off with our burning bush and our boxwood, and I'm putting it on a, an angle too. Um, that way you have like a V pattern in between, that way there's nothing straight up and down and it'll give you much more movement in your design. So I'm gonna keep adding everything in. I've got my Yamanoas, I've got my Baptisia, I've got my Crepe Myrtle, and everything too, it still has that, that V pattern. Then we can start adding in our flowers. So I'm gonna start with my Fox Glove and I'm gonna put it in first, again on an angle, and I'm going to turn it. And then I'm gonna put in my Coral Charm again, and I'm gonna turn it. And the reason why I'm turning it is that so all the flowers are on one side. We're also keeping in mind too that all of our flowers are at different lengths too. We don't want everything all the same length. And then I'm gonna add in my Sweet William. I'm gonna put two pieces in here. And then I'm gonna put in my beautiful Orlea. And last but not least, I'm going to put in my bachelor buttons. And when I put in the bachelor buttons, I want them kind of like popping up the top so that way they, they dance a little. So at this stage, you should have roughly five to six small bouquets finished. I generally like to use the number five. That way um, I put my one in the center and I do the four surrounding that one bouquet. But you can do as many as you want depending on how full you want to do the, the design. So you start off with your one in the center, and then you're going to do it exactly how we did before by layering in the flowers on an angle. Just kind of surrounding that center one. And what's nice about doing it this way is that you can take it apart and configure it as many times as you want because they're in those individual bouquets. So when you get it the way that you want it, you move up, them up and down too, you're going to attach it at the nape of the neck. Again, you can use a rubber band, the tape. Um, I'm gonna use wire. I just like to use wire at this stage just because it gives me a little bit of movement to change the height of the small bouquets if I need to. Remember to go up as high as you can with it. Okay. And what's also nice about this design is it can use, it can be used in so many different ways. You can wrap some craft paper around it and give it away as a hand tie bouquet to somebody. Um, it also could be used as a bridal bouquet if you need it to be. For us, we are gonna be using it as a vase arrangement. So you're gonna just drop it right into your vase. If you need to adjust anything, this is the time to do it. If you also wanna add extra flowers at this time, you can. But we did those um, bouquets so full with a lot of texture that you really shouldn't need to. Okay. And when you're all done, you should have a nice round garden style arrangement. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to the PHS and let's grow together.